Honorable guests, um, BCCP fellows and friends, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning. Welcome to the second BCCP conference on regulatory challenges in digital markets with your algorithms and platforms. So um, given that it's almost a, we, we are starting the third year of BCCP, I hope that many of you know what BCCP is about. Um, so BCCP, the Berlin Center for Consumer Policies, is a um, strategic cooperation among several institutions in Berlin. Um, the two Leibniz uh, Institute, uh, the DIW and the WZB, where we are today, the three universities, um, the um, um, European School of Management and Technology and the IT School of Governance. And the idea behind BCCP was uh, to create critical mass to bring this excellent researcher together, uh, research from different disciplines, uh, from law and economics, uh, but also from uh, behavioral science and, um, and business, um, to think about issues that are related to consumers. And, um, and this is something that is happening a lot in Berlin, so we think that the single institution, uh, they have excellent people but are too small uh, to create uh, a critical mass to make an impact, so uh, we, we stick together. And I think so um, BCCP um, is a good example of uh, what we are trying to do here. And so we essentially have three aims. The first, of course, is we are researchers, so we want to foster excellence in research, especially supporting uh, young scholars. Um, we want also to foster uh, the interdisciplinary uh, dialogue between uh, lawyers and economists, but uh, even more than that. And, uh, and third, we want to transfer the uh, results from our research uh, to the policy debate. And I think this conference is a good uh, example of, uh, um, of uh, these aims. Um, so last year we decided to, uh, to have a focus for our conferences on digitalization, digital markets. Uh, it's clear digitalization is changing the world. Uh, we live in very quickly at a pace which is uh, always increasing. And um, I think that uh, academics, but especially policy makers are struggling to keep uh, the pace of this process. And um, so last year we focused on privacy. Uh, this year we decided to focus on uh, two other issues that um, are very relevant in the policy debate uh, nowadays. Uh, one is the workings of uh, competition in platform markets, and the other one is uh, the role of algorithms. Um, so these issues are creating a lot of excitement, uh, but also a lot of worries and um, resistance uh, among policymaker, but also among people, right? So there are many uh, benefits that uh, we expect to have from digitalization. Uh, digital transaction uh, have affected tremendously the way we operate. Uh, you, you can think of your daily life. So I think nobody of us can live without a mobile phone anymore. Uh, you are always connected. Uh, you buy stuff online, you communicate online, you search your papers online. Uh, so a lot of the things that we do uh, is done through this new channel. Um, and uh, I think is without any doubt that consumers have benefited a lot uh, of these transformations. We have more and better products, uh, new services that allow um, a lot of new development uh, uh, in the markets. Um, so, but one characteristic of uh, these digital markets or platform markets uh, is uh, that the importance of network effects, uh, direct and indirect network effects, uh, has become even larger. 
uh, which means that uh, firms tend to become bigger because it is efficient, and it's good, actually. But on the same time, uh, if you have very big firms in the market, uh, that can also be a bit problematic. So uh, issues related to market power come very much to the forefront of the policy discussion. Um, so platform markets are a good example. So again, so it's always the usual suspect. Think about Google and Facebook. Uh, so these big platforms that seems to be very dominant uh, bring a lot of services. Um, so what? What? So who who is really benefiting of these uh, uh, these new forms of these new markets? Um, so are consumers? Are innovative firms? Uh, are the incumbent? The manners to uh, use their incumbency uh, to protect their position in the market. So these are issues that we would like to discuss today. And uh, other issues that are also very interesting and that we will uh, also discuss today are about um, algorithms. So nowadays, many strategic decisions uh, by firms are taken by algorithms. So, And we don't really know how to deal with that, right? So... Um, so I think that uh, especially in, on this issue, there is uh, a ongoing starting debate and, uh, and I hope that today in one of the sessions we will go a bit deeper uh, on, uh, on this and shed some light uh, on uh, what's going on. Um, so, um, again, so I think that uh, this conference is a, is a very good example of what BCCP is uh, aiming uh, at, so to create a platform to bring together economists, lawyers, policymakers, uh, stakeholders to discuss these issues. Uh, we try to find a common ground, a common language. It's not always easy, uh, but uh, again, these kind of conferences uh, are, I think, uh, one way to go. Um, so, and we are, of course, very lucky this year, as we were last year, that we have uh, a great panel of smart and very distinguished speakers, um, again, from all areas of academics and policy, um, and I'm sure they will inform a very lively and insightful discussion today. Um, if we have this program and I know he doesn't want me to say that, but I will tell it anyway. So Hannes Ulrich, my colleague, uh, was the force behind this program. So he was uh, setting up the program. So uh, uh, he deserved the, uh, the honor of that. And uh, of course, I mean, the, the team uh, that supported us uh, uh, did also a great job of um, making this event possible. Um, so before I conclude, I have uh, a small disclaimer. So you see we have cameras everywhere. So we are filming, we are stream, uh, uh, live streaming this event. We will post uh, the, the, the videos of the presentation and the discussion online. Um, so we, it's a conference on digital markets. So uh, we thought it's, uh, it's absolutely necessary to do that. And we want to document for ourselves and for other people this, uh, this event. But if you have a problem with that, uh, so please go behind the camera. I see everybody's uh, uh, on the back. So you can also come on the front to show that you don't have a problem uh, to be filmed. Um, the, uh, the, the last uh, comment is that I would like to thank the Wissenschaftszentrum Berlin for hosting us here. So I was lucky enough to spend many years of my career as a PhD student, as a postdoc here. So uh, it's a big pleasure for me to be back here uh, in this beautiful room. Uh, so this building uh, is maybe a bit unusual. So I don't know how much you saw. So this is the old part, and the whole part has a lot of history. So actually, um, this room was uh, where the, the court or, or the first social ins insurance of the world uh, used to meet at the end of the 19th century. So it was an institution, the Reichsversicherungsamt, that was uh, created by Bismarck. Uh, so um, history is here. Uh, but then uh, if you look uh, outside, the, the building outside looks very different. So 
And that is because in the 80s, uh, the British architects James Sterling, uh, Michael Wilford, and Associates uh, renovated uh, the old building and created a new building. And the new building is uh, one of the um, most well-known um, pop architecture building in Berlin. Uh, and it's also history because uh, the idea of the different part of the buildings uh, um, is going back to the classical element of architecture. So there is a campanile, basilica, um, an amphitheater, and a store. So during the, the break, maybe you go outside and maybe you will see uh, this. So, uh, we are very happy of being here. We are very thankful uh, um, to the speakers and the discussant uh, to be here. We are very happy that many people are here. So now we can start. Uh, Amelia will share the first session and uh, welcome everybody and thank you.